Hey, what's wrong with you, man? You ain't subscribed yet? IEYC Atlanta Burning 2.0. What you waiting on? Get it done, do it now. Hey, get them clicks, get them likes, and subscribe. Do it now. I just don't understand why our people think we got forever. We ain't promised tomorrow. Bro, do you know you're not promised tomorrow? The time is now to understand who you are and what you're supposed to be doing. We ain't out here playing around. We out here to wake up our people because we're in the last days. Destruction is coming. Famine is coming. War is coming here. And we think we walk around like we got all day. Right. Y'all see what's going on in the news? It's war time out here, man. Hey, give me uh, Luke 15 and 10. We out here because we love our brothers and sisters. Right? If we was a white man standing out here, it would be a crowd of people out here. But your brother's trying to tell you what you're doing wrong, how to get out of it, how to do better. Here we are, don't want to listen to the word. Read that. Luke chapter 15, verse 10. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. Only one need to repent. That's who the angels going to rejoice over. God ain't looking for everybody no more. He got a number he looking for. You better come with that and get sealed. Quit the folly, man. Nobody want to hear what God got to say. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God. Hey, brother, with the blue, hey, brother, coming out the store. Do you believe we're in the last days? You believe we're in the last days, right? Do you understand what's going to be happening in the last days? Give me back to the I'm going to show you, man, because look, we can just talk around and like nothing happening, but it's all around us. It's happening. But children need to know what's about to happen. Read. Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Don't you hear, don't you see walls all around us, Ukraine, Israel, Palestine. Christ said we're going to see those things and hear rumors of walls. What's the rumors that we hear, brother? World War III. These folks ain't playing. But we out here lollygagging and want to listen to dope music. Right. Going around sleeping from woman to woman. Right. Read that. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. Christ himself said, all these things has to come to pass, brother. Wars, rumors of wars. All this stuff must come to pass. We are in the last days. Read. But the end is not yet. But hold up, not yet, hold up. For nation shall rise against nation. People rising against people. Bro, you know, are you, do you see race, race everywhere? It's always in the news. It's everywhere. We never got over race. Nation against nation, right? It's like everything's about race. They, they, try to, they try to say, hey, uh, I don't see race. I don't see color. I love the white man. Well, he hates you. They were born to hate. They were created. They were created to hate. You see that? But why are, we, why are we trying to be loving with this man and equal with him? You see what I'm saying? The Bible don't tell us to do that. We for a nation. So rise against nation. And kingdom. Against kingdom. Yes. Rise against, nation gonna rise against nation, and kingdoms gonna rise against kingdoms. That's what we're seeing right now in the news. That's it's everywhere. Christ Himself said, This is going to happen in the last days. Right? Read. And kingdom against kingdom. Read. And there shall be famines and pestilences. The grocery is so high right now, bro. It said famine and pestilence. You think COVID-19 is going to be the last one? Look at all the diseases around us, man. They're taking our people out because of our sins. They around here horn. What come out of horn? Diseases. Pestilence. Right? It's going to be more and more of this, man. The time's going to get worse and worse. Right? Read that part again. And there shall be famines and pestilences. Bro, before you leave, let me ask you a question. Before you leave, let me ask you a question. So... You agree that famine is amongst us, right? Do you believe that? 
Yeah, it's in the process. It's, most definitely it's in the process, process right? Process, yeah. These are the things that's about to happen. True. Why are all those people walking around like we got forever? We don't have forever. Well, what, what should we do to wake up? What should, you do? What, you what should our people do to wake up, man, so we don't have we don't have to go through these things? Because we going it's gonna happen regardless. At this, point, at, this, at this point in time, Mustafa. Mustafa. At this point in time, what has been written and what is in motion, it can't be. You can't. You can't undo. It got no, to take can't. place. It's how you gonna do it? it? How, well, how you gonna undo it? Okay. Something. Something. But you have, in order for not to die, those deaths is things that we must do to be saved out of this, out of this place because bombs are gonna drop here. Nuclear thermal fire is going to happen here. This is what we're trying to tell our people. You think that, let me ask you this. I just heard today on the news, it's 12,500 nuclear bombs in the world, right? They only said 90 of them, 90 of them would destroy Earth. What, so what, what's going on with the other 11,600? 400. You see what I'm saying? You think they're just making these bombs to sit on their shelf and just look pretty and shine them up every now and then. No, they getting ready to use these bombs. And, and what's the, what's, what's, what, what place is going down? What all these countries have in common? They hate America. They hate this place. And guess what? We should too. Because why? They the ones that put us in slavery over here. They the ones that put the yokes of iron on our necks. This is in the Bible. That's how we know it's going to happen. This is how we know who we are. The Bible tells us who we are. Right. Because guess what? Do we, can we go back many, many records and generations to see who we are? No. We have to have clues and understanding. The, let me get that. Get Deuteronomy 28 real quick. Bring it out. Let me show you how we know who we are in, in these last days. Listen to this, brother. Because all what I'm telling you right now is in the Bible. Right? right? Get, get uh, 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Three. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Hey, what were the Israelites doing in Egypt the first time? Under Pharaoh. I can't, I can't recall. Uh, you, know, you know the uh, history of Moses, right? When he said, Pharaoh let my people go? True. Yeah, Remember? I'm somewhere. They were in slavery. Yeah, yeah. So God said he's going to take the people into Egypt again, meaning it's synonymous with slavery, bondage, right? But listen to this real quick. Listen. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Again, right? They never went back into Egypt. Remember when they left Egypt, they went into the wilderness for 40 years. Then from there, they went to the land. Marie. Again with ships. This time, he said, we're going back into bondage, into slavery, and on ships. Did that happen to everybody? Or did that happen to the so-called black, black man? That happened to us. Did we? By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Moses said, the way I'm telling you this right now is the way it's going to happen. Because y'all won't do what God say do. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. And we will never see our homeland. Nothing over there ever again. We here now. Read. And then ye shall be sold unto your enemies. The Bible said we're going to be sold to our enemies. Who said? Nigga, 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 nigga. Sold to Mr. Jackson over at Alabama. You live in Tennessee. You live in, in New Jersey as a slave. Read. And then ye shall be sold unto your enemy. The Bible said that our people are going to come over here on slave ships and we're going to be sold to our enemies. Would you sell your baby to, to, to the enemy? No, because you know what's going to happen to them, right? Rape, rob, kill, murder, whatever. They, their brain is so dark, evil. We can't even imagine the thing they got in their brain. Read. For bond men and bond women. So they sold us for slave men and slave women. Did that not happen to us? That, that's, we just ran to what the Bible said. Did that not happen to us, man? Did, did they not come get us on the a, on a west coast of Africa, bro? Mm -hmm. look, look, all these arrows are pointing to different areas and lands that they took us from west coast of Africa. You see what I'm saying? They took us to the America, South America, the islands, Jamaica, Haiti, Cuba. Those are our brothers and sisters. Those are our brothers and sisters. Whoever fit these curses right here. This is what we teach them, bro. Nationality. Not, not religion. We teach a nationality. The blacks, 
Hispanics, and Native Americans, Native Indians. Those are our brothers and sisters. Those are the children of Israel. You understand that, bro? Read. And no man shall buy you. Nobody can get us out of this condition. Hosea 5.15. Nobody can get us out of this condition except for who? If we come together, do what God no. say do. No, we have to do what he, what is love? What is love? Love is condition. Now, what is love? Love is condition. Love is state of mind. Love is condition of the mind. Everything is mental. How you doing, bro? So, what we're doing is teaching nationality according to the Bible. It ain't got nothing to do with religion, Pentecostal, Baptist, and none of that. None of that foolishness. But let me, hey, before you go, bro, let me read you what, Mustafa, let me read you what love is according to the Bible. Read. Get our love real quick. First John 5 3. How you doing, bro? All right, so look, it's simple. And I don't know why they don't make it this simple in church. Listen, it's just this simple. I'm gonna tell you your nationality, because African American ain't in the Bible, right? So black ain't in the Bible as a, nas as a nation. It's just this simple. The people that came over here on slave ships, cargo slave ships, and the ones that was here already, this, this place was never discovered. You can't discover some, somebody else's backyard. Right. They live there. Right? Those are all those are the people right here on this sign. The so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native and Indians. These are the children, the 12 tribes of Israel. This is a nation of Israel. It's 12 tribes, right? But together collectively, they make up the uh, the nation of Israel. Oh yeah, that was the original Israel. That was the original. That was it was Israel then. It was Israel. They were Israel then, yeah. What it was before it became Israel though. That was the people. That was in Egypt. No, 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 no. We were talking about a lot of things. I want to say Palestine. You said before it was actually. Kind it was of a people Israel before was. it was. A, it was a people before it was a, a, a land. You see what I'm saying? So this is this is the people, because the, our forefather was our forefather was Jacob, and his name was changed to Israel. You see that? And these are the sons of Israel. You see that now? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong.